What's up guys, my name's Dean, or as most of you know me, Twisty, and today it's time for another mission mode. We are going all the way back to round 23, 2013, Carlton v Port Adelaide. Carlton had this 39 point comeback to break into the finals series, to take ninth spot, and then they would go on to beat Richmond the following week, uh, which was a very haunting moment for my life. But <laughs> let's, we're going to be playing Carlton here uh, against Port Adelaide. At this point in time, there's 10 minutes to go in the third quarter. It's 4 8 32 to 10 11 71 this is the biggest lead of the match uh we're gonna do uh 10 minutes in the final quarter and five minutes in the um third quarter here so we're pretty much just half the time uh from 10 to 5 and then from 20 to 10 so that's how we're gonna play it from here on out final scores were 15 13 103 to 15 13 104 so carlton kicked 11 of the next 15 goals to win the match by one point. I remember Broadbent hit the post uh, at one stage uh, very late in with the last minute or so. Broadbent hit the post uh, from outside 50. Would have given Port Adelaide the lead and the win. Uh, wasn't a big. Carlton got the win and got into the finals series. Let's play it. Carlton v Port Adelaide. Oh, I like that Port Adelaide uh, clash jumper or way jumper. Who the hell are we playing? Is this Optus Oval? This looks like Optus Oval. Um, yeah, this is a miraculous comeback here by the Blues. Can we replicate it? I mean, we've got a number of plays that we're going to need to do well. And we're going to have to score pretty regularly and not allow too many things from Port. So this is Poulton. It's got Burgoyne short. Goes wider still towards, I think that's Primus back there. Might have been. Ball spills out the French. Get it, get it out there. Alright, we got Clark. Now you got another player. Use him. Why wouldn't you turn and go to him? Ah. Franchina goes with a short ball. Who's there? Is this Fev? Oh, this is Wait. Wait picks it up on the left and it's uh it's actually spinning the wrong way if you're trying to do a snap there. It's more like a banana. Yes, I know this game's like very old. Half it. There's a short kick on to Lance Whitnell. If he can get him, he can. Just around the footy, I'd hate to see what Tom Hafey's thinking about this match. Gee whiz. Well, Lance Whitnell puts one back. I remember him. He was an annoying person. <laughs> nah, he was, a, he was a big boy, Lance Whitnell. I don't know. He's just one of those guys that just looked weird, I don't know, as a kid. Stevens out of the pack towards Whitnell. Wade is there as well. He's got it, Jared Wade. Oh, and the Fevola, Fevola, oh my, Fevola, my, 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 my Fevola. So still 27 points behind at this stage. Stewie Jew, ball goes out, oh, Corns is there. Oh, well done, Thornton. Can just immediately bang it forward towards Whitnell. Whitnell is in the middle of the ground, he's going to mark it, he's going to snap. Or just torp the ball forward. Fevola! Nails the mark, and he can line up from 50 yet. I remember Brendan Favol was an extraordinary good shot at goal. Because I remember back in the day, I used to go to the football, and um, they used to actually have on the screen, it would say the percentage of, um, like, how likely we were to actually kick the goal. So, we'd say, like, based on league average, um, kind of similar to what Fox Footy does with their like goal kicking percentage stuff but uh, it used to come up on the big screen in the ground and I remember for Vola there would be goals that were 55 out ridiculous angles and it would be 15 16 percent chance and he would slot it every time he was just a magnificent kick of the football as Corns kicks this goal to put us a little bit further back so we're in the red time in this third quarter and we'd like to probably just get another one before Three quarter time in the Whitnell direction. He's not going to quite take it out of there. He'll put the tackle on. Ball spills out to Fisher. Handball backwards. French picks it up. Long kick from 55 is home. Will the siren go? Oh, not quite yet. Uh, and McCormick takes it. Oh, the chipping ball was horrible. And it ends up with Carr, who you'd think on three quarter time would have a shot. And there's the three-quarter time siren. 
So the margin is back out to, I don't know, 30 something points. So what's the scoreline here? I want to have a look. So at three quarter time in the real match, Carlton was 7 12, which would have made them 3 54, and Port Adelaide were 12 11. So they're pretty close. Pretty close. We're a little, we're about three points ahead of where we were, and Port Adelaide were one point ahead. So uh, we're two points further, closer than Carlton were at this stage at three quarter time. Okay, last quarter, Not 10 minutes. Down. Stevens out of the middle. We got to go forward now, the Blues. We are on a mission. Ball picked up by That's Fisher. Can go to 50. Loved at the top of the goal square. The goal. Wait. Oh, good mark, Hardwick. Ball, says Dennis, and Kingsley gets a free, goes long inside the 50, he's got Burgoyne, he's got Corns, he's got someone, oh it's Burgoyne's goal, Peter Burgoyne nails it, I thought Sean was 7 for some reason, it's a long kick to the top of the goal, square, oh, punch from, oh that's a great tackle, jeez that was a sensational goal saving tackle in the goal square by the Blues, I think it was the other bird going. Peter was about to run in and kick one. Brogan. Out of the tap. Franchina lost it. Oh, Carr lost it as well. Ball spills out. Throw it in. That's half it. He played on. Went forward. Oh, Whitnell, I think. It's Hoolahan. He's got no one between him and the goals, really. About 60 out. Just kicks the torp in the direction. I think this is Fev running onto it. It is Fev. He storms in and kicks one for the Blues. From the side, it's uh, Clark, who's been all right today. He's had a few good marks. High football. Whitnell, Hoolahan. And he could probably have a shot from me. He's at 50 yet. Low to the top of the goal square. Fev's getting back. Fev's getting back. It's a goal anyway. Produces the goods. And Carl Turner getting back in this one. Gonna need to just Fresh keep going here. Knocks down. Bang. Get him. Power Get him. Gee, he's taking on two blokes. Right. He's gone this time by Kuda. You cannot break a tackle from that man. Kuda with a long ball forward. All in was there. Feb was there. Who's going to pick it up? It's oh, Feb got the tackle on. And he's got a free. Incorrect disposal throw on the footy. The Fevola. Still plenty of time. It's 15 points. It's about five minutes on the clock of Rooney. Out of there. Oh, ball spills out. Coup de feed. He snaps. Inside the 50. Favola running onto it on the lead. Not going to get there. Good defense by Wakeland to kick it out. But Cooter's going to be the one to bring it back in, I think. Maybe not at Stevens. Snaps the ball forward. Who's there? Whitnell on his own. Oh, it's all hand. Gee, they look the same. It's the blonde hair. Whitnell's a bigger bloke, though. All hand. Long ball. Top of the goal square. Or oh, top of the goal line. It's through. To just nine points. With uh, some time left. Kudafid is out of the middle. Oh, out by Brogan. Did nicely, but Scotland picked it up, kicked it forward. Kudafid is in the middle of the ground. This time, he's going to go on his left, is he? He is. Snaps on the left foot. Long ball. Oh, Favolo is just over, nowhere near it. And uh, Mark over here there from Wakeland. So Port Adelaide keeping themselves alive in this one, even though they are the team in front. Carlton have all the momentum in this final term. Camperiali kicks it forward. Oh, it's a dangerous ball. In the back for kicking off the ground. That's a bit stiff. And the Treaders now has the footy. Oh, Burgoyne's on his own in the bloody 50. But that's a shocking kick inside 50. Oh, picked up by Corn, snaps a goal. 15 point Port Adelaide lead now. Cooter out of the middle, snaps forward, Fev. I didn't play on your belly, bloody muppet. Oh, I couldn't switch the right player that I needed to. Anyway, we lost control of the footy. That's a great kick forward from the power. But a huge mark by Thornton. Give Port a 21-point lead. Oh, he shanked it. 
14, 13, 97 to 12, 9, 81. The Blues go straight up the middle. It's time to do that. Finding Barnaby French. Long ball again for Vola. Vola has got it. He's got a man running back. But he says, oh, I can kick 55. The ball doesn't travel that far. It's going to bounce to the goal square. It's going to go in, is it? Yes, it is. Favola has got it. The Fev man keeps him in it. And the margin is back to 10 points. Right out of there. Who's going to get French out of the ruck? Teague kicks it forward. They've got numbers, Carlton. Fisher was in front. Where is Fev? He's in the pocket. This is Houlihan, he's gone too. Houlihan! And with nine minutes gone in this final quarter, Houlihan gives Carlton a four point deficit. Anything goes from here. Out of the middle, Kuda Fides goes long. Favola's on the lead. He's got it. The almighty Fev. The Fevolution goes with the barrel and it's left. I didn't know if the drop punt would make the journey because it didn't quite before. It's a three-point Port Adelaide lead up the Gats. The smallest man in that pack, Franchina, took the grab. Kicked a torping ball forward. Who's going to get to it first? Oh, it's bouncing through. It's a behind. And it is now a two-point Port Adelaide lead. Long up the middle, French is there, who's probably got the legs on him if he could take the mark. Ball does not get there. Anyway, spills out. Oh, come on, you got to get this lapping forward. Need that grab. Oh, Cooter's there. Cooter, can he pick it up? The handball goes out wide for Port Adelaide. Oh, they're right in the middle of the ground now. Ball! Prendergast out of the middle. Long inside the 15. No mark. Teague had it, lost it. Might get a free. He does. Does he have the journey on him? Yeah, the ball doesn't bloody carry, Fev. Oh, and Favala can put Carlton up by uh, four points. And he's got it. And Pike will play on, but I didn't know. And it's a goal. All right. Carlton, 15, 11, 101. Port Adelaide, 14, 13, 97. 11 and a half gone, final term. Cooter's getting tagged heavily now. He's going to get it out of there. Out of the pack. Goes forward in the Whitnell direction. Who is this? This is Fisher. Who snaps it at goal? Oh, it's going to bounce. Oh, it's a behind. It's a five-point lead. 15-12-102. Plays 14-13-97. We've got a minute on the clock. This is French, who's probably got the legs on him with the barrel. It's a long thumping ball. Boundary line will beat everyone. Oh, no, it's on the full. Hardwick goes forward now. Oh, this is a dangerous kick. And it's got French written all over it. He can get it with the torp. He goes long. Oh, it's a behind. It is one behind. 15, 13, 103 to 14, 13, 97. Oh, come on, take another mark, French. You got this, man. He does. He goes the barrel instantly as well. Long ball. Oh, it's going to be a... Port Adelaide out of the fence. Almost. Mark my French again. Snaps Who snaps it over his shoulder? Mark to Kuda. Oh, and Kuda from the boundary line. Has a torp. It's shanked wide. It's on the full. Oh dear. And Daryl Wakeland out of the back line just goes forward because they know that's what they got to do. Port. He finds Treaders. Who can also go forward. We don't know how long he's on the clock. The Siren Towns! Carlton have won! Carlton are into the finals! Oh, gee whiz. With a seven goal to two final quarter. In reality, it was an 8 goal to 3 1 on the uh, actual score line. And we were actually two scores away from reenacting it completely. So, uh, general, what happened in the real game was the final score line was 15 13 103 to 15 14 104. Carlton getting home. 
and we were one point away from that, and Port Adelaide were a goal away from their score. So, unbelievably good. Carlton getting home, and let me know what you guys want me to do next in the comments section below. Hopefully we've got Epic Ip Battles next week. Uh, they will be back. Fev kick six. What a jet. And uh, Carlton are into the finals. Well done. Well done to me. Finally got a win in one of these. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later.